everyone, this is Video Game Lover here, and welcome to another video. And I know I'm a little bit late to the party talking about this system, but I have to do it. A couple of days ago to a week ago, it was 20 years ago on this day, the Nintendo DS came out. Now, obviously, this is the Nintendo 3DS XL. I don't have an actual Nintendo DS, but of course, doesn't really matter because this plays DS games as well as 3DS games. And this is the one 3DS I highly recommend, by the way. So, but I just can't believe that the Nintendo DS is 20 years old now. It just felt yester like yesterday when it came out. Uh, the hype this system had, it was Nintendo's next handheld. But the one thing that's really interesting about the DS, though, was when it was first unveiled, they weren't planning for it to replace the Game Boy Advance right away because the Game Boy Advance just came out. It was, the Nintendo DS was meant to be just a simple, like, third pillar to go co-assign with the Game Boy Advance. Well, as soon as 2006 came along and Mario Kart and New Super Mario Bros. came out, that, that was, was thrown out the damn window. But the Game Boy Advance was still the primary handheld, like in 2005. But 2006 was really when they started to really focus on the DS. But what they wanted to do was to change how how you play video games, and they did that. It, obviously, two screens. That was something completely brand new. Unless you want to talk about the Game and Watch, but two screens all at once. I mean, the touch, I mean, now, to be fair, the touch, the game com had that, but this system is the prime example, while it isn't completely new, but they made the features a thousand times better. But I just love the, the two screens of the DS, because what a lot of people, what a lot of developers did was, they used one of the screens as the map system, or... I or menus and things like that so that way you can just instantly go to your menu you don't have to hit the start button really really nice and I just love the layout for buttons the shoulder buttons everything about the DS was so good um, but really <coughs> the system didn't took off until they released the DS Lite and that was the DS I got so I didn't get a Nintendo DS until Christmas of 2006, I wanted either a DS or an NES. I'm kind of glad I went with the DS. No, no disrespect to the NES, but to be fair though, I my NES was still working, so good to hear. Anyways, I got a DS, and the first game that I ever played on it, well, I did play Mario Kart a little bit, but it wasn't until like 2007 was when I got my own copy of it was Yoshi's Island DS. I think that game was okay. It wasn't as good as the original, but it was still an okay game. But I will never forget playing Mario Kart DS throughout the entirety of 2007. I was addicted to this game. I play that game religiously. Everywhere I go, I play that or Pokemon Pearl. And I just was just blown away with Mario Kart DS on how it played, um, how it looked. Now, to be honest, the graphics haven't aged well at all from that game. But I absolutely love that game so much. Like, that is one of my favorite Mario Karts ever. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS, of course, had so much memories playing that game. Pokemon Pearl, I will never forget when I first encountered. Uh, Palkia and Garatina and being scared out of my mind playing it, but man, just having just so much memories. Mario Party DS, and really, I played a lot of the DS, but it actually wasn't until 2022 when I had like this massive kick for the system where I discovered like a lot of the really, really good games on it and a lot of the hidden gems that were on the DS, the Dementium games, phenomenal first-person shooter horror games on the system, Moon, phenomenal first-person shooter, that's actually the one genre that the DS actually did better in the PSP, and the reason why is because 
the DS uses the touchpad as a camera, as, you know, the second analog stick. And I just think that that worked much better than the Facebook. I had no problem with that, though, but I'm just looking at right here. Of course, Pokemon Platinum. I put in, like, God knows how many hours on that game. I think at one point I put over a hundred hours on that game. Pokemon White, uh, Pokemon Black 2, um, Contra, that's another one, Contra 4, um, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, um, Jungle Climber, oh god, I remember getting frustrated as hell with that game. And of course, the Castlevania games. The Castlevania games are splendid. I know a lot of people don't really like Order of Ecclesia. I absolutely love that game. I thought that game was really, really good. But Portrait Ruin and Dawn of Sorrow are really good games. And I just re and they recently were re-released. I'm just looking. Of course, Pro Professor Layton, Ace Attorney, Metroid Prime Others was a good game. Even though. Um, um, Golden, not GoldenEye Rugage, but the GoldenEye that was based on the Wii version is actually pretty good on the DS. Legendary Starfy, I love that game. Uh, of course, some of the Kirby games. Bionicle Heroes, that's an underrated game. But yeah, there are some... Oh, and Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword is a really damn good game. And that game is unique because... The whole entire game takes place using the stylus. And I know at first glance that's going to turn a lot of you off, but, but let me tell you something. It actually worked to perfection. It worked to perfection with that game. Um, and of course, the Zelda games. But a lot of people weren't the biggest fan of Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. But this system just had so many games. RPGs, you know, Chrono Trigger was on this system. So many games on this system. Uh, and same thing <coughs> with the PSP. PSP has an amazing library too. But I just can't believe that this system's 20 years old, man. Like time is just moving by so fast. And in just a few months in uh, the US, I believe in March of, of 2025, the PSP will be 20 years old, which is incredible. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy 20th anniversary to the Nintendo DS. Love this system so much. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Video Game Lover 58, sign out. Peace.